Man, I still can't believe there's no football this year, man. It sucks. Aging out of the league after age 22. Who even invented aging? Man, what am I gonna do with football this fall? I have football every fall. That's what fall is. Fall is football season. What is fall gonna be now? Everything's dying outside, including my heart season. Oh, Facebook notification. MMJFL football notification. Announcement. The MMJFL has increased the age limit to include players aged 18 to 23. I'm back in. I'm 23. Crazy age limit. I got one more year. I've got one more season of football. So, jokes aside, I was actually really surprised when they decided to do this. They raised the age limit an additional year so that everyone who played last year gets another year. Everyone who had one more year has two more years, etc. This is the club's way of I guess hyping up the league for this year and the years to come. So since I found out about this, I've been kind of chewing on the information and trying to think about the fact that I get one more season and it's been hard. I spent an entire season wiring my brain to be like, this is the last season. This is the last home game. This is the last time you're practicing on the field. This is your last time playing in the Bomber Stadium. And because I'm so sentimental and so emotionally invested in the sport, I did this for so long that I wired my head into thinking there was no possibility I could play football again. So that when football ended, it wasn't so crushing. I was kind of already mentally adjusted to it. So now trying to rewire my brain has been quite difficult. I, I noticed that I was at first shocked when I found out, but then I was in denial and I was in denial for a long time. Uh, I just didn't want to believe that it was happening because I was too scared that I was going to get excited and emotionally invested again. And they were going to like pull the rug out from underneath me and be like, whoops, sorry, uh, we can't actually do that. As it turns out, they can and they are. And hey, <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'll take it. I'm excited for another chance to get back on the field. Now that I'm kind of like mentally getting around it, I don't think I'm so much in denial anymore. I'm kind of starting to tailor my training towards football again. I think this last year is going to be exciting in the sense that um, I think that I'm gonna maybe try and like go into it without being so emotionally invested. So I'm not just an emotional wreck at the end of every loss game or at the end of every bad practice. I think that I'm just going to go out there, have fun, and I mean, try and be the best naturally. It kind of feels surreal. Like now that I have another year, I think that I'm gonna maybe like take some risks and do some things that I wouldn't normally do. Like maybe try out some new positions I've never played before, or whatever positions a fat, fast guy can play. And I guess kind of just make my goal just to go out there, have fun, play hard. If anything, I'm getting an extra two, three workouts in a week. But another chance to, I guess, prove myself to myself athletically and another chance to improve my development as an athlete since we won the whole championship last year you know we won every game we crushed everybody and we ended up all with uh, football rings you know that's that's the best that you can do that's the best that a team can do so i don't have a whole lot to lose really i don't have to worry about losing games i don't have to worry about you know losing the championship game although <laughs> Try, try telling me that at the championship game. And since I made such a big deal out of my last season last year, I'm not gonna do that again this year, okay? I think I got it all out of my system already. I don't need to every Instagram picture, man, the last season's being a blast, man. This is the last season, can't believe it, man. Last season's flying by so fast. You know, like I don't need to be all sentimental this year because I got it all out of my system. So I can just go out there and enjoy it without having to worry. Man, last season I had this dread the whole season. Like I was having a blast, but like there was that overhanging dread that's like, this is the last time that you're doing this. So I'm looking forward to going into another season without all the fanatics in my head and just have fun balling out with the boys. Stay tuned for more updates. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Man, I don't think, I don't think I have to tell you anymore to subscribe, you know you gotta do it. You know you wanna help your boy grow his channel. Please subscribe if you have not. It would really mean the world to me. Floss next out. I didn't actually make the chair fall because the last time that I did that, I actually broke the chair and I had to buy a new one, so. My chair literally just broke. That gag only goes so far before it hits you financially, you know what I'm saying?